Hey everyone, just a little update video. Um, it's it's been busy, hasn't it? It's been it's been a while. Yeah, not a lot's happened. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not going to be really making this a long video. I'm just informing you guys that tomorrow, uh, as of recording this, which I'm going to make sure it goes up today. So I mean, the next update for Death Frontier 2 is going to be out, and it's the one that we've been waiting fucking ages for, which is the uh, the Death Frontier 2 level 50 update, which is going to be uh, exciting. Um, now, little disclaimer, I've played it, okay? I've played it, um, I I've been testing it the last couple of days. Um, I'm not allowed to spoil anything, uh, but I have played it the last couple of days. Uh, Neil allowed me to test it, because um, uh, I heard there was some close testing going on, um, so I thought I'd just, you know, shoot him a message. Um, so I played it, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I can't really say anything about it, um, other than I do think that it is a pretty worthy update. Um, I'm not going to go out on record and say that it's going to change the MMO spectrum or anything, um, but there is a lot of cool new stuff in there. Um, and I think, like, if it doesn't, like, extend the game, it makes the game a lot better than it already was in terms of... Um, just progression, the, uh, the the types of uh, things you can do, um, the story especially is a big big focus now. There's you know there's a lot to it. It's not like a I'm not gonna say it's like a uh, like a, a fetch quest or an actual storyline that you follow like in some RPGs, but um, there is a lot more to the story now. And as you play, you'll probably know what I mean. Um, that's as really as much as I can say without saying it. Um, there is a lot of content. There's, you know, a lot of new shit. Um, like I said, I have to be vague because I don't want to say too much anyway. I don't want to spoil everyone. Um, but there is a lot, a lot new. Um, whether it's, like I say, I don't know if it's. The thing is, I've been playing for a couple of days, and obviously tomorrow is the full release, so um, I'm still kind of fresh to it. So I can't really say whether this is going to completely change the MO face for Death Two. Like I don't know if it's going to, you know, keep the game's longevity immensely long. Um, but I do think this is kind of the update we needed, to be honest. Um, I think it's honestly probably the best the game has been. Um, and the thing is, yeah, like, I've got so many hours on Death Frontier 2, but it doesn't mean I think it's an amazing, amazing game. It's just a really fun game. And uh, this update has made it a lot more good. Uh, that's, that's an adjective, a lot more good. It has made it a lot better. I don't know if I'm going to... Again, it's too early for me to really say, but I do think the hype is kind of justified this time around. I think if you're expecting world bosses and these crazy scale battles, I would say you're very much overhyping it. But if you're expecting um, more of the same kind of content, but better and a lot more focus on atmosphere and trying to actually craft the world up a bit better, I think this is a, a very good update for that. Um, obviously, story isn't really the main thing that drags a game, but there's also a lot of gameplay related things I really enjoy. Um, so. Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, I've been testing it, it's fun, um, can't really say much more than that, uh, I'm going to be streaming it tomorrow, basically as soon as it comes out, um, I'm going to be filling in a few things for the wiki, I think, for the first hour or so, uh, I've been taking a few recordings here and there of um, some of the new stuff, obviously I have to say stuff, I can't say what, um, and I'm basically going to be just uh, writing things out in the wiki, I'm not going to literally spend two, five hours just writing every single new e weapon or anything like that, I'm not going to be doing that. Um, but I'm going to be doing a few contributions just to get started. Um, and then I'll take a break and jump on the live stream because, you know, I actually want to grind the game. I'm not going to be max level anymore, you know? I want to want to start actually playing the game again. I'm excited. I am excited. I've got like 700 hours in Death Frontier 2 and I've been so burnt out on the game. The game is, you know, we, we all know if we've, if you play Death Frontier 2, you know what I mean. It It's become so tiresome after a while. But there is more to do now. And it actually feels like the loop kind of is fun and things aren't unfair or it just feels like there's a bit more sense to everything and I'm, I'm really looking forward to actually playing on my proper character because obviously I've been playing on a test server so I've been using a special maxed out character um, so it's not as customizable I guess you could say but no I'm, I'm super looking forward to uh, to this tomorrow so I will be streaming it um, it comes out at 10 a.m. BST or GMT. I'm going to say BST because that's generally what the British standard time is. It's generally just BST is more accurate, I find. Um, so I won't be streaming immediately, but um, I will be streaming probably within 30 minutes to an hour. So I'd say maybe around 11, 
11 a.m. BST, I'll be streaming the game. Uh, I don't know how long for, but I'm obviously going to be planning and playing it a whole lot. Um, I'm going to be a complete social failure, uh, so that's going to be fun. Uh, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I hope it brings more players in. I think this is kind of what we're all hoping for, is that the game be uh, becomes a little more popular. I don't think it's going to get um, you know 10k again or anything like that. Um, but I do think it has the potential to bring in an extra thousand or so, um, depending on the reviews and everything like that. Uh, it's just, uh, yeah. I think one of the main things, like before I end the video, that I think Neon has to do uh, for the game is marketing. Because this update is great, um, but I think the marketing needs to start being put back in action again. Because, I mean, word of mouth works really well as well, but with so many games nowadays, it's only really the unique ones the truly unique ones that get all the support. I just think the marketing needs to be a little more point because word of mouth works for really, really unique games like Minecraft or something. The game is unique, but it's not very, uh, it doesn't look very unique on the surface is what I'm saying. So uh, we will see. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you all tomorrow.